fast lane. It is the last stop on the road to WrestleMania. Eisenberg, Ghoulish, Labar, we're here to make our predictions and again, encouraging you to check out our sponsor at WrestleRumble.com. If WWE is so predictable, if it's so easy, or if you're so <laughs> bored watching the pay-per-view, WrestleRumble.com is a solution for all of that. You can put your money where your mouth is on predictability and win up to $500 for it. And if you're so bored, if you can't stay focused because WWE's product is just so subpar, well, hey, betting and being able to win money, that's got to end. Do we have a gambling hotline at the bottom of the screen for people right now? No? No. We don't? We're just we not, should? We, we just... You're enabling something that's a negative. Anyway, no. I won money, so I'm not going to Better enabling that than enabling some Malibu. That's absolutely It's been true. a while. It's been a while. Malibu's a summer thing. No, it's thing. not. You see his Twitter account. He has like 10 tweets in a row. He ignores Mark Madden and Michelle Beadle for about two days. Ah, yes, ah, he I did. I called him out. He no, did. I, I called answer. him out. He did. Oh, I you answer. gave such a PR yes, answer. No, I, answer. I went Grow back to him later. A pair, I went back to him later. You're not a WWE employee. I went back to him later. I don't care. I don't care. Him and Beadle argue. What do I care? Grow a pair of I, I said on my radio show and I said on Twitter. Grow some coconuts instead of grapes. I said on I said on radio and I said on Twitter that Here I go. don't blame people for throwing crap at her because she was so loud and proud about dismissing WWE and now she comes back at Guy it. Guy meets her one time, they're best friends. Anyway, the main event of WWE I, Fastlane is a triple threat match. Woo! Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. It was more than once. Roman and now, no, don't change the subject. You're not going to sit here and take a shot at me and then you can change the subject. Uh, it's not a shot. It's, you think, no, yeah. I, I answered him. I went back and said, I'm like, he first he tried, somebody tried to bring me into it. And I said, I don't care. He goes, coward. Wrong, right is right, wrong is wrong. I'm like, no, I just don't care. And after getting pestered over so and over, after getting pestered him. over and over, I finally just go, went ahead and said, yeah, I don't blame people for throwing crap at her because you can't be that loud and proud dismissing something and then just all of a sudden jump back on it when when now all of a sudden they're working with ESPN. Do you know what I love? I love the fact that I can throw bait at you after 10 years and you still take it. Main event, WWE Fastlane. We're going to throw some bait, put some <laughs> Buffalo Trace on a line and right. cast hey, it on out into let's, let's fast forward to the here. sea let's of the bar. Main event, number one contenders match, Dean Ambrose, Roman You're so Reigns, antsy to talk. Go ahead. Brock Lesnar. Brian, who do you take? I'm going with Dean Ambrose here. Oh, Dean okay. Ambrose, in some capacity, we saw hints of it on Monday Night Raw, I don't know who's going to come out and screw Brock Lesnar to set up whatever match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but Dean Ambrose on a distraction. Maybe even Triple H comes down and does something to Roman Reigns. Dean Ambrose will win. We'll go on the WrestleMania to where maybe Reigns comes out and screws Ambrose at WrestleMania. Maybe Rollins comes back and screws someone to set up that triple threat match that should have been in Dallas, mm -hmm. which could be at SummerSlam. But Dean Ambrose will win this match. You know what? I, I, I've thought and lightened up on my stance of saying it's always going to be Roman Reigns. It definitely has to be Roman Reigns. I don't think it's Roman Reigns or Dean Ambrose. I actually think Brock Lesnar wins because I think WWE puts the hold button on the Wyatt family versus Brock Lesnar for two reasons. One, it's predictable. Two, you look at a car that's not filled with huge, big names. What can you do? Triple H, Brock Lesnar is a big match. It's Paul Heyman battling with Vince McMahon on the mic. It's Brock Lesnar and Triple H from WrestleMania 29. Yeah, we saw that before, and it was okay, but it kind of gotten you know mixed in the group with Punk before them, with a world championship match after. That match is the biggest marquee Fans will appreciate that match more. When you're looking for 100,000 people, you're looking at millions of people worldwide, do you really want to see Triple H and Roman Reigns? I don't think that they will, and I think it sets up for a Roman and Ambrose match. Does anybody want to see Triple H? Does anyone want to see Roman Reigns, period, together in the main event at WrestleMania? Brock Lesnar is the bigger marquee, and Dean Ambrose would be the, <clears throat> the shock and surprise, and, of course, he's gaining more and more Points and possibility. He drops the IC title. He's looking strong, or at least he's at least he's looking or is that a fear, that's a small fearless. To get rid of it, yeah. But Roman Reigns is the project. Roman Reigns is the project. The last two years they've had to change. They've had to change the, the plans uh, involving WrestleMania. Roman Reigns is the project. He did finally get his best momentum in December and January, and I think that they've done a great job. I soured on the match when it started, saying there's there's, there's, there's no there's no there's nothing to talk about here. It's Roman Reigns, and they've done a great job. Evening the scales the last few weeks. All of a sudden, you kind of feel, not everybody's at 33% of a chance, but it's closer than it's ever been in terms of how everybody's been presented. So bravo, WWE. And I think that's a perfect way to then go right back to the point of having Roman Reigns win, which is the original plan. And you talk about a sexy marquee, and I harp on it again. I think bring the ex external factors. Bring The Rock, bring Rousey, bring Steph, bring Vince. Put them all in there, and you, they, know, and you can make it all work. And that just tells you what the match, what the interest of the match is. If it was just Triple H and Roman Reigns, no one wants to see it. You need to have UFC's top draw or second top is draw. It, you need to have The Rock. But you is need it, to have is it McMahon. nobody would want to see it, or is it that the people that are going to be the loudest are the people that just go against 
WWE's hand chosen people. Well, and this is why think I, about this. ESP, you know, we know we know Sports Center is going to be going to be doing something with it. We know uh, you know we, we, they're going to have all the coverage uh, that they that they've been given WWE. And who do you think is going to look more appealing to have across the ring from Triple H, Roman Reigns, or Dean Ambrose? Who he's my boy, and we all Brock know Lesnar. I love him. But he lo- but but well, but I don't. <laughs> That's the most uh, but I think they have, I think they have, but I think, attention. But I think they have other plans for Lesnar that can still get attention. But it's like you can have Roman Reigns standing across from Triple H, or I love Ambrose. So you're gonna have a guy that looks more like a gas gas station attendant. But you if, know what I mean? It's but, like, but listen, if 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 Roman Reigns wins, there's got to be some type of coup that Triple H throws at him. The authority throws at him, similar to Daniel Bryan. You know, win these matches like Triple H. Daniel Bryan had to be Triple H earlier tonight to face Batista and Randy Orton. Maybe it's somewhere where, hey, even if Roman Reigns wins, something still is out there that blocks his route to Triple H. And that's the only way I see Roman Reigns winning. If Roman Reigns wins, he's not going to get a direct line to Triple what H. If, what, if, the- what if Reigns wins and Triple H and yeah. the League of Nations and every person they can find on the authority payroll just beats the ever-living hell out of Roman Reigns to the point to where we don't even know if Roman Reigns... You know, Roman Reigns won the right to come fight for the title, but he's not going to be able to fight for the title. You milk that through Monday and the Monday night, Vincent J. McMahon Award, Triple H, and then... League of Nations. Who? League of Nations? League, League, of, Nations? League of lack wow. of... terrible. Well, I'm anything saying, no, but, right now. But, 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 big, but lackeys, that would be the ones to beat down. My Roman biggest Reigns. question is, uh, is this going to be a clear finish? Lesnar, people are saying the obvious, Lesnar gets taken out by the Wyatt family, Okay. That sets up Brock and Bray, which I'm, I'm cool with. I actually think that's a really good match, like I talked about a few weeks ago. But whenever you look at the main event, is it going to be just as simple as it comes down to Roman and Ambrose and whoever wins that? But that's the thing. Listen, when, when did Seth Rollins get hurt? November. Yeah. So we're going to be five months out at WrestleMania. He can't compete, but he can sure get in there with a steel chair or a briefcase or something mm. along those lines, a title, a bat, something to affect the outcome of this match, whether he screws over Dean Ambrose or Roman Reigns. You really think Seth Rollins is coming out? And some, maybe not, something leading up to WrestleMania. Seth no, Rollins no. will be at WrestleMania, and I think the hints are started Sunday at Fastlane. We'll find out, and I will be very interested to see uh, which one of you is the $500 prize winner, and of course, winning some of the other prizes that you can uh, get for finishing in the Who you top. got for the Daytona 500 before Fastlane? You got Vroom, and you got Vroom. Chase Elliott, 20 years old on the pole. WrestleRumble.com. You can make your predictions and win up to $500. I know there's NASCAR fans, crossover fans there's out not, there. The yes, only there NASCAR are. relevance is what Big Show said. He's had more turns than NASCAR in his career. We'll be in there. there WrestleRumble.com. Win your money. We'll be very excited to see who gets announced as the winner. Uh, and we give you our grand congratulations now. We'll do it again next week. And, of course, make sure you go to our social media accounts as we'll give you some quick, to the point, 30-second reality checks on who some of the other winners will be on the Fast Lane Undercard. Follow us on Twitter Sunday night live tweeting. It ought to be fun. Rubbin's Racing.